Hey YouTube friends, welcome back to JoJo's Picks. If you're new here, we are two resellers part-time on eBay, some sales on Poshmark. We like to show you what we're picking up, what we're selling, what's going good for us, what's going bad. As we travel around the country working as a travel nurse, Jason works from home, and then in our part-time, we pick. Yep, and we've been in Appleton, Wisconsin for the last just about 13 weeks, so tomorrow is actually the last day of Jess's assignment here, and yesterday we went to the bins, hit it about two hours before they closed, and found a lot of good stuff, so that's what we're gonna show you today, our haul video from the bins last night. Yep, if you like this kind of stuff, or you want to encourage us, go ahead and like and subscribe and comment. We love people to comment and tell us what they're thinking. All right, so we'll start off here. I found this Fox Racing, and this used to be a, a really good pickup back in the day. Everything used to be a good pickup then, though, I guess. But I saw the little Fox logo wherever he is at. There he is. He was just peeking at me from other clothes in the bins. So I pulled him out and grabbed him. I'm not going to say he has the best sell-through, but I say that they're probably about 25% sell through and this should sell for $25. I'm not necessarily wanting to pick up a lot of flannels right now with us going into spring and summer, but I couldn't really pass up a Fox racing flannel. You found this. <laughs> yeah, I found this um, J Crew, and again, long sleeve. Uh, this one's a button down, but just a good cotton button down. Uh, J. Crew Mercantile. Yeah, and it's a chambray, a oh, chambray shirt. That's yeah. the the style of that. So that's why I encourage you to pick yeah, it up. I didn't look up comps. I'm mm -hmm. not. I would guess twenty bucks, maybe. Yeah, we're gonna hope for twenty on um, that. But yeah, we've we've yeah. been doing a lot of jeans lately, and then trying to move into shorts and tees, skirts, more spring summer stuff. But Golf pants. This is just a good overall shirt. Yep, I think this will be good for somebody because like. Men can wear this with chino pants, like a beige chino pant. Like yeah, true. a chambray shirt is a popular shirt in any brand. And it's so. an XO, which is I think a I good say that right. Chambray. I think I saw that right. Or say that right. So yeah, that's why that was really encouraging. Now this is not a brand that I would ever tell anybody to pick up. I know some people do say it's a, a good seller for them. The Alfred Dunner does have a following. But I saw this was a 2X. It's from the 2019 line. And I know that because it still had its tag on it from probably like JCPenney's or something, uh, 2019. So 2X, it was originally $60 for the shirt. Um, and it looks like the they actually do have a quick sell-through rate. So I grabbed it and I'm hoping for about $20 on this Alfred Dunner shirt. And this time at the bins, we tried something a little different or that we don't always do, especially if we don't have the camera. Um, a lot of times we'll split up and try to cover more bins, but this time we stuck together. And I noticed that we were finding things in the same bins that each other weren't really picking up. Because mm -hmm. I had seen that shirt, but I, I passed it, but then she picked it up and there were other things that I picked up mm -hmm. that she either didn't see. So it, I yeah. thought it worked out well. Yeah, and you know what? If there was another reseller behind us, they're picking up stuff because I know we're following resellers yeah. all the time. So it goes to show that each person is picking up different things. So There's you don't have to like fight for yeah. stuff, you yeah. know? Not necessarily unless it's like a really good item. <laughs> Maybe then you want to fight. But I actually found these can can jeans and I think I just pushed you out of the bin like you didn't even have a chance to dig down to these. Mm. Oh, because it smelled real bad. It smelled really bad in the bin these were in. So you were like, whew, this stinks. And you moved down to the next one. And I'm like, okay, I'm just going to dig just a little bit more. I've almost got it all. And I unearthed these can-can. They don't smell bad either. It's a plus of being a nurse. <laughs> I handle it. Yeah, I, don't, I have a lot of real high tolerance to stank. Um, but these can-can jeans, they're a skinny... They're a little bit smaller of a size, 928, um, but I picked them up because they had the tags on them still. They still had like, they were sold at TJ Maxx, but they're the Estillo. I think that we'll be able to get $25 for them because they're new with tags. Nothing real exciting about them. They're not like a frayed cut hem or distressed or anything, but still couldn't pass them up. This was one of the first pairs of jeans that we found when we got 
when we got there. Um, I found these. Jess was pretty sure they were fake. I really felt like they were fake. Because they don't... That is a weird... That is a weird tag. And the leather tag on the back feels really dry. Not like a nice leather, I guess. Yeah. But pretty sure they're real. They... They do have a weird button too, but all of these little rivets, they, I mean, they all say Levi's. They've got the Levi's tag. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I Google lens them. They might be Canadian. I don't know. I found one pair that's on Poshmark right now. Same exact ones. Um, they do have the Levi's in here, but they're listed on Poshmark for 25 or $30. I don't, I don't, I don't know. know we'll I'm not real one. sure. Maybe we'll get 15. I don't know. They're made in Pakistan. Um, it's weird because they don't have the date. Like, there's usually in Levi's a date, but if that is a Can I don't know if Canadians make Levi brand. I don't know. Brand. They're a size I have no 14 idea. regular, I guess. Such a weird. This tag we'll almost looks like the 90s um, silver tab. Like they had some funky print, like where yeah. it says loose or something on the silver tab. So I don't know. Oh. We need to look further into those. But, but they're you, in good shape. Yeah. You got me convinced that they're just something unusual and we just need to look, look further into them. Um, I grabbed these Brooks Brothers. They are a chino short, size 33. And I just thought that we are going into summer, so I'm going to try to sell like some preppy aesthetic style men's shorts. I'm going to hope that I get $15 to $20 for these. I don't really know that we've sold Brooks Brothers like Chino shorts or a lot of Brooks Brothers in the past. So I'm going to give these shorts a try. They just look preppy, old money, that type of keyword. Yeah, I will say in, in this pile, we found a lot of brands that we don't typically find in the bins or even mm -hmm. at the Goodwill retails and, and a couple brands that we've never found mm -hmm. ever before. Which, yeah, it was a, it was a surprisingly good haul. I think so. I think we have some interesting things. You found this skirt. Yep, I, I like Banana Republic stuff, so <laughs> it stood out, and the buttons down the front stood out. Yeah, I think it's going to be good because of that. People like like a button fly jean or or such. It's a midi black midi skirt. I'm going to hope for fifteen to twenty dollars on this. Um, there is a popular trend coming out for 2024 called funeral core where it's total black head to toe like more of a slim fit matrix style silhouette is funeral core so it's kind of the the new goth i don't know if this quite hits funeral core but it definitely is going to hit the whole black aesthetic it looks matrix it yep it might i don't know so yep that's your find this is <laughs> this is my find um i found this little Victoria's Secret pink bralette. I just like to, and it feels brand new. It's like really nice. Um, I like to pick up any Victoria's Secret or pink that I find at the bins. Cause personally for me, it might not sell for the most money, but it usually sells fast. This one probably $15. I'm going to guess that I'll get out of this. And when we say prices of our expectations, we are having the buyer pay shipping. So I do everything buyer pays shipping. So it'd be $15 plus $5 shipping or whatever they pay. So this was a first for us. Um, they just felt nice. And when I picked them up, they are Mizzen and Main. Mizzen and Main? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mizzen and Main. What's that? <gasps> you found Mizzen and Main? Yeah. Oh my God. Can you believe you found Mizzen and Main? I and I'm dumb enough that I have to look it up. Like this sounds I'm familiar. Which I knew that I had heard Jess talk about this brand, but I still had to look them up. Um, mm -hmm. They're in really nice shape. Um, and I think they definitely had a 100% sell through and I think they were around $40 plus mm -hmm. shipping. Yeah. Um, they're also a good size, 34 by 34. Um, they also have a hidden pocket, which is kind of cool. <laughs> But really nice feeling pants. Yeah. The bad thing about some of these brand names is like Mizzen and Main. And some of these, they almost sound like um, 
like Target and places will do names that sound upscale. Not that Target things, some of them you, you know, you can't sell for good money, but you have to know what you're looking for. But um, yeah, so the names can be just so tricky. There's so many brand names. You found these as well, I believe. Yeah. These are Adriano Goldsmith. Yeah, I don't, they just, again, when you're digging through the bins enough, feeling different clothes, as soon as your hands hit something that feels quality, um, I would just pick it up. I'd never heard of this name, but I asked Jess, mm -hmm. and it looks like they do good. They're in really good shape too. Um, just straight leg, tan. I don't know what size they are. 34 by 34, yeah. again, so a really good size. Mm -hmm. Yep, and they're a beige. And for us, uh, I think they're straight. They're Yeah, they're a straight leg. They're really soft. So... Yeah, I believe I'll have to whoop, maybe flash some comps up here, but I believe that we were at least going to get 25 for these, maybe 35. I can't quite remember. Which is, I mean, out of the bins. Oh, out of the bins. I love that. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. I'm usually paying... shooting for 20 to 25 out of the bins and calling it good. So I try to at least get $10 profit. I'm trying to push that up a bit, but, you know, you can't be too terribly picky at the yeah. bins. Profit's profit, but... Yeah, Adrian and Goldsmith, I've only, I think I've ever sold maybe one pair of little tiny shorts. So, you found these yeah, as well. I did. You were just like killing it. You can talk about it. I don't know about Toad and Company. Um, Toad and Company, I just knew it hit my radar because we were doing a travel assignment down in South Carolina and went to like one of those outdoorsy stores to get some, some clothes to wear on a, a beach hike or whatever. And I got some Toad and Company stuff. Um, and I noticed it was really expensive, of course, if you go to like an REI or something. Um, but Jason found these Toad & Company pants. So a men's chino, uh, these should probably sell super well for us with camping, fishing, hiking season coming up. Um, but they're a men's size 34 and I'm assuming we'll get 25 yeah, to 35 for them. Really nice wood buttons. Yeah, nice wood buttons. They're organic cotton, so they make nice stuff. I like the few things that I've bought. And I definitely like to sell it if I can find it. I think I slipped these in the cart and meant to <laughs> look them over, but we ended up just checking out. But they're just... Oh, sookie. Okay. Yeah, they're just little silver sookie jeans, which we have pretty good luck selling silvers. Yeah, and let's see. I think it's the... Yeah, it's definitely a boot cut or a flare style. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like a boot cut. Some bling or some designs on the mm -hmm. pocket. Thick stitch. People like thick stitch. They're just... If I'm flying through Goodwill, just looking down the rack sometimes, I will just look for like the edge of jeans and I'll be looking for thick stitching along the edges so that hopefully I'll find Rock Revival, Miss Me, some of the silvers that are worth more. You know, they have that thick stitch on them. Um, yeah, but silver Sookie within the silver jeans line, Sookie does better. And I think these are a boot cut. They just really look like just a little bit of a boot, you know, mm -hmm. boot flare to them. They're tiny, aren't they? Yep. Those will sell. We'll sell them. Um, speaking of silvers, I had gotten these last time we went to the bins and I did not look close enough at them. And as you can see here, they're like a homemade hem. They're super short because... I'm 5'2", and they would come up above my ankles, so somebody cut them super short. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut these off and make them into frayed shorts. I've never cut any off. I've kind of thought about it in the past, but I'm going to give it a go on these. They're a waist 30, so it looks like they sell that way, so I'm going to try it this time. It's almost short season, so might as well try. What do we have here? These are the ones you... Oh, yeah. Okay, because I never, I keep not recognizing the back of these pockets because I've never found her jeans before. This is a brand that has just hit my radar. It's Idle Wind, fueled by Miranda Lambert. These are a size 8 boot cut jean. I uh, believe that I'll probably get $35 out of these. When you look up Idle Wind, there's not a lot for sale out there. You might find like 50 items or something. Um, just... I don't know if it's a newer line. I don't know anything about it. Uh, I think I did see it as sold at like Boot Barn. But yeah, so I've been enjoying finding that. I found a, a suede type feeling, at least, dress with like the fringe all over it and it was sleeveless. But 
I was at a regular Goodwill and they wanted like 20 or $25 for it. Not worth that. So if I find it at the bins, yes. These were just another pair of Levi's that I found and they're just 550s relaxed fit, but they're in really clean condition. Um, Those are nice. Yeah, different color, just brown, but mm -hmm. size 16M, so good size to pick up and just Mm -hmm. Yep, hopefully we'll get Red 25 to 35 for those. It's hard to pass up really clean. Or dirty. Even, I guess. Yeah, so. yeah, don't pass up even dirty Levi's. Particular ones, I mean, that's a whole thing. I know a lot of people are talking about that probably right now too, but like 501s, pick those up, who cares type thing. But yeah, we could give you different numbers. We could talk about that sometime. But I've been slowly compiling a list. Um, Jason grabbed these 541 Levi's. They're 40 by 30, and they're just a regular old medium wash classic jean. So great picking them up at the bins for, you know, two, three bucks. And, well, no, you averaged everything out to less than $2. Yeah. Um, we spent $23 and got 16 items, so it's like a dollar... 52 I had it mm -hmm. down somewhere but it's like a dollar 52 a piece yeah on yeah, average so I think great. we've been around a dollar 60 or a dollar 70 mm -hmm. per item from the bins which yeah. is amazing yeah some people talk about like their bins like if we're out in LA or somewhere the bins are really expensive but we have not found expensive bins yet we found cheap bins in Charleston <clears throat> South Carolina area yeah, in Ohio cheap these, bins these bins are already cheap and then if you get over like 20 pounds they give you an even more mm -hmm. discounted rate yeah I think it's like 129 or yeah, something I don't crazy. know something like that um I was going to talk about this brand too I don't think it's like the most exciting brand in the world but it seems to sell pretty well uh Grace and LA jeans I had grabbed these I wore them a little bit decided I didn't quite like the rise on myself so they're an easy fit they're very distressed they're embroidered they're straight legged they have the raw hem down here the cut hem so I think I should be able to sell these for about $35. Picked these out of the bins a couple weeks ago. You know, I got some wear out of them. Used them to go out to eat a few times and now see if somebody else would like to, to wear them too. So that's another fun thing for me about reselling. Um, recycling my wardrobe all the time. If you buy something that is in demand or, you know, is quality enough. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm going to send those on because I just bought myself quite a few new things from eBay right now. So um, I let some other pickers pick for me. So, you know, I do a lot of buying and selling on eBay. I try to support the community. Yeah, I've actually got a Roback shirt that I just thrifted for $13. So I'll wear that, try not to ruin it, and mm -hmm. then resell it after mm -hmm. I'm done with it. Yeah. Oh, I forgot your My hat. I'm sorry, I'm just item. chatting and I forgot your hat. So I found this John Deere <laughs> hat. New with tags is the only reason I picked it up. But John Deere does good. Um, John, It's the actual John Deere brand. So this should get like $14 plus shipping probably and cost nothing. Um, but hats are usually a little longer. Yeah. Um, lead time or yeah they sit around a little bit yeah. you gotta I, you want to be really really picky on hats in my opinion um and we don't buy a lot of like boxes or anything for for our items but those are boxes that i do keep on hand because i want the eight by six by six i think yeah, it is is the one that we use for our hats i'd have to tell you for sure but i keep those on hand because when a hat sells i want to be able to put it right in that box i stuff some paper underneath of this portion of it and just sit it down in the box and i've never had any trouble shipping a hat yeah. you do more shipping nowadays but so all right well if you got any value out of this you think we deserve a like a comment a subscribe please do so and we'll catch you on the next one bye thanks bye